Welcome to WCW Monday Night Nitro. We are live. And what a show we have for you tonight. What's going to happen here? We know that The Undertaker will make his return in our main event here tonight against Roman Reigns. Looks like we're kicking off Nitro with the Rated R Superstar Edge as he makes his way to the ring. And last week on Nitro, Edge made his return in our main event as he interrupted the United States Championship match between Seth Rollins and Elias. Edge laying out both men to end Nitro. And the question is, why? Well, it looks like the Rated R Superstar is about to give us that reason right here, right now. Wait a minute. Could it be? Here comes the architect, Seth Rollins, the man who had Elias beat last week, but his match was interrupted by Edge. And we knew it was only a matter of time before Seth Rollins came down here. And what is Rollins? Gonna have to say the edge. We're about to find out right now. Well, you heard Shane McMahon. Can Edge and Seth Rollins get along tonight? We'll see. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the... JoJo is announcing the WCW television title match. We're starting Nitro off with a one-on-one action for the WCW television title. And it looks like 
Finn Balor, the leader of the Bullet Club, is going to accept that challenge. And here he comes. Finn Balor, what an opportunity he has right here, right now, to become the new WCW television champion. I mean, we already know that his Bullet Club brothers and sisters, they have championship gold. Sasha Banks is the current WCW Women's Champion. Prince Jones and War Machine are the current WCW Tag Team Champions. We know that AJ Styles is the current WCW Heavyweight Champion. And we also know Elias is the WCW United States Champion. So imagine Finn Balor, the leader, the man who put the team together, could win the WCW Television title here tonight on Nitro. In Balor's mind, that would be absolutely too sweet. And this is the first time we've seen Balor in action since Survivor Series. He was part of that WCW Men's Survivor Series team who was defeated by the ECW team. But it was still an amazing match between both sides. Now we patiently await the arrival of the WCW television champion, Titus Worldwide's very own Apollo Crews, being accompanied by Dana Brooke and Titus O'Neil. Worldwide? Worldwide? Apollo Crews has been a pretty good television champion. We know he defended the title a few weeks ago against R Truth and them. What a match that was. And we know he went head to head with the ECW television champion Kevin Owens a couple weeks ago. And to be honest, Apollo Crews defeated Kevin Owens in that match, as we can remember. He was victorious, proving that he was the better champion. And Apollo, like we say, ever since he joined Titus Worldwide, the man became WCW Television Champion. Has been a pretty good television champion. But tonight, it's going to be another tough opponent for Apollo. And that opponent is Finn Balor. The referee is holding up the title, letting the whole WCW universe know. Finn looks ready to go. Apollo looks ready to go. And there we go. The match is underway. The tie-up now. Finn pushing Apollo into the corner. Referee looks like the referee's going to have to separate him. Oh, what a right hand. A quick right hand. By Finn, but Apollo now with the tie up. Apollo picks up Balor and slams him down to the mat. Balor now tries to out wrestle him, but Apollo tosses him. Balor does not want to go in a power game against Apollo, and oh, what a move taking down Apollo. Finn Balor tosses Apollo on the apron. Looks like he's going to suplex him back in. And a shot to the back of the spine. A double stump. An explosive double stump by Finn Balor. Balor now with a DDT. Balor has to stay on Apollo. Both men are pretty quick on their feet. But Balor seems to be the quicker one. 
And oh, Apollo, wait. Oh, what a move. A scoop slam into a, a twisted reverse DDT like move. And Apollo with the head scissors and a right hand across the face of Balor. And there's the head scissors again and another right hand. Apollo now with a high knee. Cruz, one of the strongest, fastest guys on the whole WCW roster. Right now he has Finn Balor in a headlock. Just twisting the neck. Balor is struggling to break free and wait a minute. Looks like Balor's fighting back. An elbow. Another elbow to the ribs. And a running swing blade by Finn Balor. But Apollo reverses into a back body drop. A kick to the midsection. And a gut wrench slam by Apollo. And Balor now going after the leg of Apollo. Apollo shoves Finn Balor off of him. And right hand by Apollo into an angle slam. And Finn Balor rolls to the outside to catch his breath. Apollo taking Finn off the apron. Apollo has Balor by the head. Slams the face first into the side of the ring. Apollo going after the arm of Balor. Remember, no one can win the title by count out. Balor fighting out of it. Balor swing blade on the floor. He has to get Apollo back in the ring. Balor can't win the championship by count out. Tosses him into the apron. Balor gets in to break up the count. He goes back to the outside. Finn Balor slides back in the ring. Apollo follows him into a slam by Apollo. Apollo with a kick to the back of the neck. Goes in. Picks him up. Oh, what a move by Apollo. And Dana Brooke and Titus likes what they're seeing. Uh, Apollo again with the gut rich slam. And like we said, Balor is not going to win a power game against Apollo in one. Just a one count as Balor kicks out and Apollo with a kick to the back of the spine into another high knee. Apollo looks like he's in full control of this match now. And another high knee across the face. Looks like he has Balor right where he wants him. Play Balor now. With a kick, taking down Apollo, who rolls out onto the apron. Balor now tosses Apollo back in. Balor going up to the top rope. Oh, Apollo with a right hand. And another right hand. Look at this. Into a, a super, super plex off the top rope. And you can hear Balor's back crash up against the mat. And Apollo went for the insecurity. Balor moves out of the way. Swing blade. Balor calling for it. He's on the second rope. He's on the middle rope. Goes for the drop kick. Apollo blocks it. Apollo now picking Balor up. Look at the strength. Oh, a German suplex. Apollo with the right hand. Finn Balor going for the block, trying to cover up. Apollo now with another headlock. And what a match it has been for the television title to open up Nitro as Apollo continues to control the match. Balor with the elbows. Balor with a right hand. Another right hand. Apollo leaning up against the ropes. Balor tosses Apollo to the outside. Apollo lands on his feet. Here comes Balor. Balor flying over the top rope, taking down Apollo Crews. And the crowd is chanting, this is awesome. And it is. As both men are back in the ring. Balor going for 
A back suplex, but Apollo reverses it. Taking out Finn Balor. And Apollo, he's setting it up. He could be getting ready for that Apollo sit-down power bomb. He picks him up. Oh, he nails it. One. Two. Balor kicks out. Apollo can't believe it. He's picking Finn back up for another gut wrench slam. Now Apollo locks in the headlock. Balor's in trouble as Apollo's running that knee to the back. And oh, Balor with a kick. Apollo's down. Balor, he's fighting back with a couple right hands into a swing blade. Tosses Apollo into the corner. Pulls him back. Balor now full drop kick into the corner. Wait a minute, Apollo's in the drop zone. Balor going up to the top rope. He's calling for it. Coup de grace. That's it. One, two. Apollo gets the shoulder up and Finn Balor can't believe it. How did Apollo escape the coup de grace? Finn picks Apollo back up. Tosses Cruz into the corner again. Balor throwing Apollo. Apollo lands on the apron. Springboard drop kick. Knocks him to the floor. Apollo getting up. Balor now full speed ahead. Diving over the top rope. Taking down. Apollo tosses him back in the ring. Both men are back in the ring. A discus forearm by Balor. And Apollo is struggling to get back up to his feet. Balor takes him down. And a knee, a kick across the chest. Apollo pushes Balor off. Cruz now. Another Olympic slam. That has to be it. One. Two. How is Finn Balor still alive? Apollo now. Look at the power into the Samoa drop. But Balor's back up. Tosses him into the corner. A chop. A running drop kick to the side of the head. Apollo now. Has Balor up. Look at the strength. Look at the power of Balor's head. Blood rushing to his head. And Apollo with that slam. That has to be it. Wait a minute. Jawbreaker by Balor. Until, wait a minute. No way. The bloody Sunday. Is that it? One, two, three. Finn Balor picks up the win. We have a new... WCW Television Champion. Let's look at the highlights here. Here's some of the highlights in the match. The drop kick in the corner by Finn Balor. The coup de grace when we thought it was over. But Apollo managed to get the shoulder up. I mean, look at that. That's, that's a reversal by Apollo earlier. This is what it was right here. The jawbreaker catching Apollo. Setting up. But Finn Balor is now the WCW Television Champion. And what a match to kick off Nitro. The TV title is now in the camp of the Bullet Club. Here comes the number one contender, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, as she makes her way down to the ring. We know in two weeks at the Armageddon pay-per-view, she will take on the WCW Women's Champion, the boss, Sasha Banks. And what a match that's going to be as Asuka is dancing her way to the ring as the crowd. Wait a minute! 
still Sasha Banks. She's attacking Oscar from behind, tossing her into the steel steps. Now wait a minute. No, no, no. She's locking in a bank statement. She has the bank statement locked in on Oscar. Oscar was scheduled to compete here tonight, but it looks like that's not gonna happen. Sasha has left the. Looks like we're getting ready for some cruiserweight action. Here comes Mike Canellis with his wife, Maria Canellis. And these two say that they're the power couple of the WCW. They're the power couple of Monday Night Nitro. And Mike Canellis is making his in ring debut here tonight. We've seen him a a few times on the Indies, but we haven't seen him on Nitro. And this is the first time we get that opportunity. We know Maria has been in the WWE for years. She took a league of absence, but now she's back. And she's ready to help lead her husband to greatness. Whatever that greatness is, we don't know. But we do know that this man right here is so called full of love. And we know that his opponent here tonight is not going to be someone of a walk in a park. And here comes the 23-year-old piece of gold, the man of the hour, Leo Rush. Leo Rush, the man who says he's Mr. WCW of the Cruiserweight Division. He's the man of the hour. He's, he's better, faster, colder than any Cruiserweight on this roster. He says that if he was the Cruiserweight Champion, ECW would have never had the belt. Couple shots taken at Cedric Alexander. But this guy right here, this was a big pickup for Shane McMahon. He knows what this young man has. He has the look, the star power, the potential. And tonight, he's going to prove it. Because, like we said, he's making his ending, entering debut as well. Mike Kanellis, Leo Rush. And here we go. Oh, a spot buster by Mike Kanellis. Already going for the cover. One. One count. Mike Canellis wasting no time. That's right here, a chop to the throat. Leo Rush, though, tossing him to the outside. Mike Canellis back in. Leo Rush, a slap to the face. Dragging Mike Canellis into the middle of the ring and a kick to the back of the spine. Leo tosses him into the corner, a running close line by Leo Rush. The quickness of Leo Rush and oh a takedown by Mike Canellis. It slams Leo Rush down to the mat. Canellis with a right hand, another right. Went for an elbow. Leo Rush blocks. Kick to the midsection and oh what a takedown by Canellis. Canellis now with a headlock locked in on Leo Rush. But Rush now, looks like he's fighting back. Couple of elbows. Rush. Look, look at that. Oh, a tip the world into a tornado DDT. What a move. Another shot to the back. And that's what we're talking about. The quickness of this young man, Leo Rush. Leo tosses him into the corner. Right hand. Another right hand. Another right hand. Another one. These vicious rights. An uppercut. Stunning Canellis. Canellis ducks. 
with a running clothesline in the corner of his own. He goes for the cover again. One, two, Leo Rush kicks out. Canelo's now has Leo Rush in the submission hole in the center of the ring with Leo tap. Rush, no, fights out of it. A hurricanrana. Leo Rush tosses Mike Canellas into the corner. Mike Canellas with an elbow. Canellas throwing Leo Rush up against the ropes. Look at that. Canellas went for an elbow. Leo Rush blocks. A kick to the midsection. A super kick to the face. Canellas rolls out on the apron. Oh, a kick to the a hit to the midsection. Roll up. Look at that. Sunset flip. Does he have a one? Two, is it over? Oh, Leo Rush managed to kick out at two. It was almost a three. Canellis. Double arm hook. Oh, what a move. A kick to the back of the neck, and there's a vicious right hand by Canellis. And now he's scratching the face of Leo Rush. Canellas went for a kick. Leo Rush blocks, trips him into a standing moonsault. Rush now leading Canellas up against the ropes. Tosses Canellas to the outside. Here comes Leo Rush flying over the ropes, taking down Mike Canellas. The 23-year-old piece of gold. Little Rush tosses Mike Canellas into the apron. Now tosses him into the steel steps. The referee is counting. Look at Maria. Maria is arguing with Leo Rush as her husband is being counted out. Mike Canellas back in the ring. Leo Rush went for a DDT or something, but Canellas reverses it. Canellas super kick! Boy! Oh, Leo Rush got out of it. Canellas can't believe it. Canellas now working on the leg of Leo Rush and oh! He's setting them up now. Like Canellas is going for the finisher. No, wait. It looks like he has Leo Rush in the arm bar, but Leo Rush fighting out of it. Rush with a running cross body. Taking down Canellas. A kick to the midsection. A kick to the side of the head. Rush now on top rope. Frost blast. Oh! Canelo's got the knees up. He got the knees up. Going for a belly to belly. Leo Rush fighting out of it. Rush. Kick to the midsection. A super kick. Canelo's is done. He's sitting in the corner. Leo Rush with a cannonball. Rush going back up to the top rope. Could he be going for that frost splash again? And there it is. Look at the height. Look at the instant replay. Leo Rush landing that frog splash. Is this it? One, two, three. Leo Rush picks up the win here tonight in his in ring debut. And what a pretty good cruiserweight action. Look at the replays here. There's that sunset flip by Canellis. There's the super kick out of the corner. But there's Leo Rush fighting back. That's the kick to the knee and the spinning kick to the side of the head. What a match, though, by these two men. And Leo Rush, very impressive here tonight. Seems like the WCW universe is behind this young man. The 23-year-old piece of gold. We are 
back here on Nitro. And here comes the WCW Tag Team Champions, Prince Jones and War Machine of the Bullet Club Firing Squad. And what a match this is. As Prince Jones and War Machine, last time we saw these two on Nitro was two weeks ago. Well, actually two weeks ago we saw them take on the ECW Tag Team Champions, the Usos at Survivor Series. And War Machine and Prince Jones was victorious. But what a match that was. But tonight, these two will take on two guys that are feuding with one of their good brothers, Elias. As they are patiently awaiting as the lights dimmer down, here comes Mr. Burn It Down himself. Seth Rollins is making his way to the ring. We saw earlier tonight, Seth Rollins interrupt the Rated R Superstar Edge because of what happened last week. Seth Rollins, we know, lost the championship, the United States Championship to Elias two months ago at the Halloween Havoc pay-per-view. And Rollins wasn't able to get his rematch at Survivor Series because of the brand warfare. So last week, Commissioner Shane McMahon gave Rollins his rematch. And Rollins looked like he was going to become the United States Champion again. But the match was interrupted by Edge. I mean, Seth Rollins, he, he nailed the curve stump. He had a live beat. Edge came out of nowhere and laid out both men. And Seth Rollins wasn't a happy camper. As we know, he went and approached Edge, like we said earlier tonight. We also know that Seth Rollins was looking for Elias, who we know is not here tonight. And here comes the rated R superstar, Edge. Earlier tonight, Edge came out here and he said, look, the reason he attacked Seth Rollins last week was because Seth Rollins was in his way. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He says he doesn't have an issue with Rollins. His issue is with the Elias because we also got to take a remember what happened two months ago at Halloween Havoc. It was Edge in the main event for the world title against AJ Styles. And Edge, he had AJ Styles beat. But Elias came out of nowhere and cost Edge the world title. So Edge did not forget about that. But right now, can Edge and Rollins work together against the Good Brothers? And here we go. And, oh, War Machine right out the gates. We're going to get to the midsection and belly to belly. To Seth Rollins in a high knee by War Machine in a stump to the chest. Rollins got to remember this is not going to be an easy match. Oh, look at the uppercut. Swing blade into a moonsault, standing moonsault to War Machine. Wait, War Machine with a kick to the midsection. Here comes a neck breaker. This is an unlikely tag team right now. When he tags in Prince. Oh, what a double team move into a German. I mean, belly to belly suplex by Prince Jones and a kick to the back of Seth Rollins. And there's a high elbow drop by Prince Jones. These guys are an amazing tag team. And all look, it looks like he's going for the tequila sunrise. No, 
He's working on the arm of Rollins, but Rollins managed to get to the ropes. And an elbow to the back of the spine. Rollins now reverses Prince Jones. Rollins with a running kick. Like we said, Rollins says he wants Elias. Edge says he wants Elias. But General Manager, Commissioner, Shane McMahon said, look, Elias not here. Y'all can't get Elias tonight. But what I'm going to need you guys to do is to team up. And let's see if these guys can work together. And there's a tag. Here comes Edge. Edge holding Prince. And oh, what a big kick by Rollins. That was a nice double team move. Oh, jawbreaker by Prince. Prince now. Tossing Edge head first into the corner. And he tags in War Machine. War Machine going to the second rope and coming down on the arm. Edge went for a drop kick. Edge sidestep. A shot to the leg. But Edge reverses. Taking down War Machine. Oh, War Machine with a jawbreaker. Tosses Edge into the corner. Tags in Prince again. Oh, look at this move. And oh! What a nice move. And these guys, this is what makes them the tag team champions. Their chemistry. Their work in the ring. Their work ethic. It's crazy. And that's what's going to give Edge and Seth Rollins a hard time to beat these guys here tonight. Because Seth Rollins and Edge, they're not a tag team. They're two guys who want a piece of the United States champion, Elias. And two guys that somewhat have a beef with each other right now. Because Rollins said earlier tonight, I'm not going to forget what you did to me. And that's double team into a back drop. Up asking for a tag, and there he is. Here comes Rollins. Running kick, taking down War Machine. War Machine dusts the clothesline. Tosses Rollins into the corner. Rollins moves. Rollins now. Suplex. Rollins knocking Prince Jones off the apron. And what a kick, taking down War Machine. War Machine crossing to the corner. Seth now. Oh, oh, what a move. War Machine is down. Seth Rollins going up top. He's telling him. Come on. Get up. Oh, what an elbow. Off the top rope. Across the head. Of War Machine. Rollins tosses War Machine into the corner. Tags in edge. Here comes edge again. Run a full speed kick to the face. And like so far these guys are working pretty good together though. Oh, what a thunder and shoulder tackle. By War Machine, but Edge with a right hand stunning War Machine up against the ropes. And a DDT. War Machine looking for a tag, but Edge breaks it up. Edge went for a kick. War Machine blocks. Oh, a kick to the midsection. Edge with a reversal. In the right hand. And there's a lot of counters in this match. And oh. War Machine is down. But we know the BC Firing Squad. They would love to beat Edge. Beat down Edge and Seth Rollins here tonight. And oh what a big kick. And a bulldog out of the corner. By Edge. They would love to soften these guys up for their good brother Elias. Edge went for a right hand. War Machine moved out of the way. And oh! What a suplex. Wait, he's still holding on. Holding on. Another suplex. Is he going for three? And oh, the third one. What a thunderous one. Edge grabbing the back of his neck after that impact. Tossed into the corner. Now. War Machine with these vicious stumps. Prince Jones tags himself in. Uh, Prince Jones with his vicious stumps. Now War Machine tags himself back in with a couple more stumps. And then, like we said, this is just the amazing tag team effort between these two guys. 
Chris Jones goes for the cover. One. And it kicks out. It's back up. Elbow to the midsection. Oh, a clothesline. I must be head and edge. Edge is in trouble now. Chris Jones. Famous sir. Right hands and chops. Edge press first into the corner. Looks like Edge has been busted open a little bit. Prince Jones with a kick. Now rubbing. Edge's face up against the ropes. And a running drop kick taking down the rated R superstar. Prince now with a neck breaker. That snap neck breaker. Edge pushes off Prince Jones. Edge with a bat breaker. Wait, reversal. On bar takedown by Prince Jones. And Prince with another high elbow to the chest of Edge. And now he's stumping on the arm. It's like every time Edge is trying to get a little comeback, Prince Jones is hot on his tail. There's an elbow. There's another elbow. There's another elbow. There's another elbow. Another elbow. Another one. Another one. Oh, and a final elbow drop. Edge with a headbutt now. Stunning Prince Jones into a DDT. Chris Jones rolls out on the apron. Here comes Seth Rollins. Rollins going to suplex Chris Jones in. And Chris Jones with the reversal, slamming down Seth Rollins in a kick to the back of the head. And oh, a double face stump. Oh, Chris Jones with an elbow. Rollins is in the corner. Looks like War Machine has also been busted wide open and oh. Rollins going up to the second rope. Looks like he's going for the blockbuster. But Prince Jones moves out of the way. Prince throwing Rollins into the corner. Rollins with a big boot. Rollins now. Back suplex. Prince reverses with a jawbreaker. Prince tosses him into the corner. The machine's back in. Back body drop. The machine picks up Edge and the clothesline. Another clothesline into a Power slam. He picks up Seth Rollins. Wait a minute. Prince Jones. I mean, War Machine drop kicks. Edge onto the floor. An elbow by Rollins, but a kick to the knee by War Machine. Tossing the Edge into the corner. I mean, tossing Rollins to the corner. Rollins moves out of the way. Curve stomp! The curve stump. That's it. One, two. Chris Jones breaks up the three count. And Edge taking down Chris Jones, who rolls to the outside. Rollins is going up top. The moonsault. He goes for the cover. Is this it? One, two. War Machine kicks out. Rollins tags in Edge. The Radar Superstar Edge is back in. Oh, War Machine with a kick to the face. And now he locks in the triangle choke. 
Edge is in trouble. Is Edge gonna tap? Edge fights out of it. Edge back suplex. Wait a minute, Impala DDT? War Machine reverses into a European uppercut. Stunning edge to a power bomb. One, two, into a submission hold. Is Edge gonna tap? Edge fights out of it. There is mayhem in the ring. Prince Jones rolls to the outside. Steps in the ring now. Belly to belly. By War Machine to Edge. And what a match. This, this match has been unbelievable. Edge reverses now. Edge with the spear. One, two, three. Edge and Seth Rollins have done it. They have worked together for one night. Here comes Tony Storm. And she is making her way down to the ring. We know that in two weeks at the Armageddon pay-per-view, she will go one-on-one -on -one with Mickey James. We know that she's, over the last couple weeks, she's been having a little feud with Mickey James and Alexa Bliss. Last week, she took out Alexa Bliss. But like we said, in two weeks at Armageddon, she's going to try to do the same thing to Mickey James. But right now, she is ready for competition. Who tonight going to step up to the plate? of the newcomer, Tony Storm. And here comes Titus Worldwide's very own Dana Brooke. And Dana Brooke has a big opportunity to take on Tony Storm and make a big name for herself. We know earlier tonight she was at ringside with Apollo Crews and Titus O'Neil. Apollo Crews lost the WCW television title earlier in the show to Finn Balor. So Titus Worldwide no longer has gold in their camp. But Dana Brooke, she says it's about time that the women of WCW feel her wrath. As she is looking to maybe down the line get a future title opportunity. Dana Brooke has the material. She has the tools to be a star around here. And with Titus O'Neil backing her up behind the scenes. He could get her to places she's never been before. Tony Storm is ready to go. Dana Brooke is ready to go. Here we go. The match is underway. Dana Brooke with a kick to the stomach. Slamming Tony Storm down. A headlock by Dana Brooke, who isn't wasting any time. Going after Storm. And Tony Storm with a jawbreaker reversal into an uppercut. The tie-up. Dana Brooke, the stronger of the two. Has the waist lock locked in on Dana Brooke. But Tony Storm locks in the headlock. Dana Brooke fights out of it. Has Tony Storm arm locked and slam her down to the mat. Tony Storm back up now. Oh, face first. Goes down. Tony Storm go down. Goes down. A reversal into a hurricanrana by Tony Storm. Dana with a block, but Tony Storm blocks 
the kick. An elbow to the knee, a kick to the knee, and a toss across the ring as Dana Brooke goes flying. Storm now with a right hand, but Dana with a hard right of her own. Now blocked by Dana Brooke. Tossing Tony Storm into a corner, a running four. Dana goes for the cover. One, two. It's going to take more than that to put away Tony here tonight. Storm now tossing to the corner. Strong guys. Irish rip. Taking her down. And look at the power of Dana Brooke, but Storm reverses. Slams Dana arm down. Down a hip attack. Taking down Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke with the trip. And a shot to the back of the spine. Goes for the cover. One, two. A kick to the head. Into a bridge pin. But Dana Brooke gets her feet to the ropes. A kick to the midsection. Shot to the spine. Pushing her up into the turnbuckle. German suplex. Out of the corner by Tony Storm. Storm now going after the arm of Dana Brooke. Tony Storm stepping on the arm. Tossing her into the corner. Turns on one for a kid. Dana Brooks moves out of the way. And oh, a clothesline. Almost beheading Tony Storm. And Dana Brooks gets a two count again. And a kick to the back of the spine. Now Dana Brooks going after the arm of Storm. She's weakening that arm. It would be hard for Storm to deliver the Storm Zero. Dana Brooks now with the submission hold. On Tony Storm. Storm escapes. Storm now with a running form. Taking down Dana Brooke. Tosses Dana into the corner. Look at the kicks. Look at the strong kicks. To the chest of Dana Brooke. Dana falls down. Tony went for the hip attack. Dana moves out of the way to a standing drop kick. Both of these women with these heavy hits. Oh, Tony tosses Dana Brooke to the outside. And Tony goes to the outside. To get Dana Brooke. For a reversal. Dana Brooke back in the ring. So does Tony Storm. Tony now with a German suplex. Storm with a spinning forearm. Taking down Dana Brooke. Tony Storm goes up to the middle rope. What is she calling for? Middle rope drop kick. Goes for the cover. One. Two. Dana kicks out again. Tony Storm picks up Dana Brooke. Tosses her into the corner. There's some shots again. The kicks. Tony Storm with the hip attack. Tony Storm with a kick to the back. Into a back suplex. Actually, stepping on the elbow of Dana Brooke. Tony with another German suplex into a bridge. One, two. Tony breaks up. That German up. What is she going for now? Kick to the midsection. Storm zero. One, two, three. 
No! It's not a three. Dana got out of it. Dana Brick got out of it. Reversal into an Irish leg sweep. Dana Brick now went for a shot. Tony Storm side steps. Kick to the midsection. A roll up. One, two, three. Tony Storm got it. She got the win over Dana Brook. And here's some of the highlights in the match earlier. Tony Storm picks up the win. Wait a minute. That's Mickey James. Mickey James is going right after Tony Storm. A sneak attack from behind. And Mickey James is sitting there for something. Wait a minute. That's a steel cage. A steel cage is coming down. Tony Storm ducks. A right hand, another right, another right. Tony Storm taking out Mickey James. They're trapped inside of a cage. And oh, Mickey James with a cheap shot. Taking down Tony Storm. Oh no, Tony Storm face first into the cage. Into the cage again. Mickey James has left a man. It is main event time. Here comes the big dog. Roman Reigns and he has a huge opportunity here tonight this is a number one contenders match the winner of this match will go on to face AJ Styles in two weeks at the Armageddon pay-per-view Roman Reigns is looking for this opportunity he has been in a bit of a slump he hasn't been winning big matches but the big dog claims that tonight he's going to finally get back on track because he wants to be WCW World Heavyweight Champion again. He wants to be the guy to put down AJ Styles. The only thing is Roman Reigns' opponent here tonight is not going to be easy. The big dog's going to have to bring it. He's going to have to prove why this is his yard now. Can Roman do it? Can he win tonight? And you hear the music. You see the lights cut off. Here comes the Phenom. The Undertaker. You can feel the chills. In the arena here tonight. The Undertaker coming out of retirement. Here tonight. To take on Roman Reigns. We haven't seen the Undertaker in years. But to be honest, this is, well, not years, months. But this is a WrestleMania rematch, if you will. Remember, the Undertaker was retired by Roman Reigns. So the Undertaker could get revenge here tonight. And not only will he get revenge if he's able to win. But he will be able to face AJ Styles at Armageddon. And look at the look in his eyes. No one has an interest like The Undertaker. And the WCW Universe is on their feet. With the excitement and respect.
for the man who has dominated the professional wrestling world for over a decade. There's the stair as the Undertaker gets ready to remove his hat. And there's the eyes rolling at the back of his head. Matches underway as the referee rings the bell. And here we go. On take with rights, left, right, stunning Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns reverses with a kick to the midsection. A clothesline, but the Undertaker doesn't fall. Roman now with a running belly to belly suplex, taking down the Undertaker. The Undertaker trips Roman now with a kick to the midsection. Wait a minute. Roman with a right hand. A thunderous clothesline, taking down the Undertaker. And this isn't just going to be a normal wrestling match. This is going to be a fight. Undertaker blocks and a clothesline taking down Roman Reigns. Undertaker tossing Roman Reigns into the corner. Right here is left, right. So look at the combo. Look at the combination of the dead man. Oh! Taking down Roman Reigns in the corner. A kick. And a knee across the throat. Undertaker letting Roman Reigns know. I may have been retired for a few months, but this is still my yard and Roman with a left. Throwing the Undertaker up against the ropes. Roman drops down. And a big boot to the throat of the Undertaker. And now the vicious right hands, but Undertaker gets his elbows up. He's blocking. Roman goes for the cover. One, two. Roman's going to have to do more than that to put down The Undertaker. The big dog now with a headlock locked in. And we said, what an opportunity for both of these men. The winner of this match will take on AJ Styles at Armageddon. And the elbows to the midsection. Undertaker now leaning. Roman up against the ropes. Picks him up. And oh, slams him up against the top rope. Undertaker now. Tossing Roman into the corner. Running clothesline. Roman's back up. Undertaker tosses him into the corner again. Another clothesline. Taker now. Dragging Roman up against the ropes. Again, he picks him up. Oh, snake eyes up against the ropes. Neon Taker is dominating this match now. A quick roll up. Referee, one, two. Roman kicks out. Undertaker now has Roman Reigns up. A right hand for Roman with a headbutt. Taking down Taker. No, 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 no. A vicious power bomb. Undertaker kicks out again. A shot to the back of the spine. Roman now look at the power rings. Sit down power bomb. But it looks like Roman going for another one. Sit down power bomb again. Superman punch. Taking down Undertaker. One, two. 
Untucker kicks out of the Superman punch. And Roman can't believe it. Roman goes for the cover one more time. One. Two. Pick and take her up now. Take her with a block. And a running clothesline taking down Roman Reigns. Taker now feeling it. Tosses Roman into the corner. Reversal by Reigns. Tosses Taker into the corner. Taker side steps. Undertaker now. Back suplex. Taker has Roman up. Has him by the throat. Choke slam. In the center of the ring. That's it. One. Two. Roman kicks out. Reigns is still in this. Taker picks up Reigns. Strong Irish rip. Roman flies over the ropes. Untaker rolls to the outside. He picks up Reigns now. Slamming him face first into the announce table. Untaker taking out park the announce table. A block by Roman. Now blocked by Taker in the elbow. Taker rolls back in to break the count. Oh, DDT! Roman up against the ropes. Taker with a clothesline, taking him to the outside. Don't take a roll to the outside to go after him. As the referee begins to count again. And this match has been pretty brutal here. Up against the barricade. No. Snake eyes against the barricade. As Roman's face bouncing off the top of it. Taker tosses him back inside. He rolls back in. Taker picking up Reigns. Tosses Reigns into the corner. He went for something but Reigns blocked with a knee. A quick roll up. Wait a minute. Look at the power of Reigns into a sit down power bomb. Look like Roman setting up for the spear. Here he comes. Untaker with a knee to the face of Reigns. Taker throwing Reigns back to the outside. Reigns with a shot to the midsection. A right hand. Untaker blocks with a left. Wait a minute. Oh, backbreaker on the outside by Roman. Reigns with a hard shoulder tackle. And a right hand. Taker tosses Roman back in. An elbow to the throat. Let's take a walking leg drop. Taker rolls back in. Looks like he could be setting up for the tombstone. Here it comes. Tombstone power driver. Wait. Roman fights out with an elbow. Close line into the corner. Roman now slamming the Undertaker. He has another headlock in. But the Undertaker is fighting out of it. Here's the elbows. Take a look for the big boot. Roman moves. Roman now, wait a minute. Has the Undertaker up. Crucifix. Sit down, power bomb. But Undertaker foot is on the rope. Roman trying to hype himself up. Taker is down. Roman calling for a Roman calling for the spear. Here he goes. Wait. Undertaker blocks into a DDT. Taker now. Throw Roman up against the ropes. Wait a minute. Roman with spear. A spear out of nowhere. Roman goes for the cover. One, two, three. Roman Reigns is now the new number one contender. 
He will meet AJ Styles at Armageddon. And what a match him and The Undertaker had here tonight. Seeing some of the highlights. It was a pretty physical fight between the two. The